What is going on guys? We are here at the secret spot as you guys can tell behind me. Man, we got everything. We got bass fish fishing setups, we got a carp setup, and we got katan setup. We're gonna be throwing a uh, cut tilapia out there on bottom and we're gonna see if we can catch or we're gonna see if we can get a gar run. And uh, we also have the carp set up with some corn. I'm gonna try to catch some carp for bait. I also noticed that on YouTube, man, there's a lot of people that they literally target carp. And I'm like, bro, down here in South Texas, there's a bunch of those things. So we can see, we're gonna see if we can catch some. Uh, wish us luck, I'm out here with my brother. And uh, yeah, man, let me get everything set up, put you guys on my chest camera and and let's go. So this time we got the, uh, got the little rod holders, man. We're parked off the road just in case someone passes by. I'm gonna send this way so the wind doesn't I know you guys, but where'd you get this one from, Jerem? Yeah, from a pawn shop, three bucks. Three bucks, man. This is this... I got it from uh, the Quick Stop in South Park Island. Nice, shout out to the Quick Stop, man. Yeah, so last time I came out here, guys, I saw a bunch of gar rolling in this little area right here. And in my opinion, this actually looks like a little bit of a drop off, as you can tell the water change. So the left-hand side is a little bit lighter. Right here is a little bit darker, a little bit of murkier. So we're gonna cast a couple of setups on the bottom over here, and we got some chairs. So we're gonna we're gonna stand. We're gonna. That's why I parked my truck like this. Sun's behind us. We're gonna sit down right here and just see what happens. So let's go. Oh, yeah. A little cart, little carp something. There's a lot. Man. Yeah, I got the bass setup. So that's Change of plans, guys. We got a casting net, so we're gonna go try to catch some fresh, uh, some fresh bait. I actually caught a bass in that canal a couple, couple weeks ago, so we'll come back. This is a spot. This is a spot, Jerm. Got a canal right here for some bait. You got the big area right here. Let me try for a bass real quick, Jerm. Last time, guys, I caught a bass on the first cast. The fish could have been on a bed, so let me cast before my brother tries for bait. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. We got some shiner in that little, in that casting net, man. Yeah, yeah. So Jeremy and I, my brother and I, we used to fish with shiners back in the day for largemouth. Just on a little floaty. Daniel Reese, if you're watching this, bro. So remember when you still, take it. <laughs> the memory's still alive, bro. Huh? Oh, nice. Yeah. Is it? I don't know if people understand. Shiner, tell them. Yeah. Tell them, what? Shiner's a big deal, bro. Shiners are huge deals for these for bass, man. Maybe really? use that big one for a freaking katan. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Sweet, man. Let me cast this thing around over here. Yeah, yeah, dude. Two pieces or what? Use a big head? Okay. Use a head on that one right there? Yeah, because the other one will have a small hook, so. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Trim it up. Yeah. yeah, he's badass actually. Yeah, right where the little thing. We got a big ass piece of tilapia, man, on a bottom rig. Shout out to Los Canaleros. Yeah. Got the tilapia head. And chunk that bad boy out and let it soak. Oh yeah. Nice. Sweet. Huh? I think we have a chunk of this on the that way. Alright, so the other Los Canaleros setup that I had fell out of the truck, of course. But luckily I still got a double drop double drop rig and I have cotton carp before or I have cotton a gar before on this little setup. So let's take off the fish bites that we that we had on had on before. Pick up all of our trash right now and let's throw on a piece. Good thing about this, these live liners, just click this little button right here and you're good to go. And, and then we got a piece of bread. We got a small piece of bread right here rigged up on this. Wait, we're good. We're ready. All right, guys, we got a uh, one, two, three rod set out. Two on bottom with some tilapia 
and we got one on the side with some bread for some carp back in the day man i used to catch carp and the rasakas literally with just a hook and throw it around the edges a lot of the carp that i see you know they're they're hanging out along the side in the shade so put a little piece of bread small hook throw it on the side and see if we get lucky right germ are you gonna fish the shad or what and you can use your truck as a you can use your truck as some shade man look there's some gar rolling right there germ. you see it a little small one but hey yeah, there's small gar rolling there's gonna be a, a big mama up in here what do you got on there tilapia mix cocktail Oh, there goes the there goes the tilapia. All right, guys, we're set up, man. Beauty about bringing the truck is you can park like this, and the sun's behind us, so we can sit down in the shade and just chill. We got two rods. Actually, no, we got three rods on bottom with some uh, tilapia, and I got a rod on the side with a single hook on some bread. Back in the day, man, I used to fish a lot of the, a lot of the rasaka with a small hook and a small piece of bread, and I used to just throw it right along the edge. When I was going to college there at UTB and I used to hook up to a lot of carp so trying to bring back some old school fishing styles for today but this is uh the beauty about it man you can literally sit down in the shade and just wait and you got a couple rods with the drag super loose so if you if you get a, a katan run you're, you're gonna know it's a run and I got the live liner set up as well so all the videos that I watch and all the times I've been fishing for katan the ones that we have caught whenever they do run you gotta wait a little bit because those gar gar will pick up the bait and they'll run about a hundred yards before they actually swallow it down into their mouth sometimes those katan or like in a little group of like two or three and they're trying to pull that fish or pull that bait away from the other ones that way they can eat in peace or that way they're not fighting with the other gar so um, like I said earlier I have seen already two or three small gar get up and roll these South Texas uh, alligator gar even up north they'll come up and they'll take a breath and then they'll go back down so this uh, canal here runs all the way down towards the end for about two miles and it runs back this way as well there's a couple of canals irrigation canals that run into it so I'm hoping there's a there's a gar up in here ready to eat keep you guys updated oh 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 did you see that that wasn't really a gar run guys but we got something something on the line over here these gar here man they're a little tricky there we go boys i think we got our first run i think we got our first run germ false alarm false alarm false alarm This is nice though, no? Chilling. I'm telling you, right? You can see them. Yeah, last time I was here, Jeremy, I was I caught one bass on the first cast, and I was just like going around, and I saw some gar roll. That's what I was like, man. And people, that you could tell people fish here, right? But the, it doesn't look like they're using a frofer, right? I swear. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's some gar. And people are fishing here, but there, I don't see anyone throwing like gar rigs. That looks like more like for catfish or for for bass. There, there was a homie here fishing earlier, and he had uh, he was throwing bass like a like artificial spinnerbait, yeah. He wasn't throwing katana rig, so we'll give it a bit. See what's up. You guys are from the 956 watching, man. Drop a comment where you're watching from. Last time, German had a guy watching from Roma, Escobares, Star County in the house, Papa. If you guys know where this is from, drop a comment down below, man. Oh, oh, there's something messing with that, man. I hope it's not a turtle. Nice. The big ones are what? Holy smoke. Damn, dude. Let me get that on the camera. Check this guy's out. That's how they never miss it. The time we come fishing, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah. It's on the side of the spot like that. Good eye, Jim. No bueno. Let's cast this around here. We gotta put my uh, my bay villain on the back end. Yeah, for those that don't believe me, I'm gonna overlay a video right here of that bass that I caught. Last time, man, I came out here on my first cast on uh on the whopper plopper man right along the edge right here the water actually looks super calm here so let me throw this shadow bait around you never know for those y'all that fish uh for bass down here in south texas also comment below man i'm trying to broaden my horizon a little bit here instead of just doing bay fishing the entire time oh here comes a truck jam here. here comes a car he comes this way, I can just back up the truck right here. I guess this spot's super popular, man. There's like a... Uh, oh, they're throwing a cat scene in there, I guess this spot's more popular than I thought it was, man. Last time I came out here, I didn't see anyone. Oh, look, this guy's riding a bike, too. It's super popular, right behind me. Behind me. Behind me. Right on, brother! Yeah!
right on, brother. Damn, this fuzz. Look how close he got. I mean, there's guard rolling, right? Now, it's kind of dangerous not to be riding a bike like way out here by yourself. No look for bass, guys. Just to sit down and relax then. So Jeremy is a professional, man. He uh, he noticed those bees right away. Always be careful down here in South Texas for rattlesnake, poachers, you never know. Uh, apparently gotta be careful with bees, man. Cause look, you're literally walking right here, right? Having a good time on your bike. Boom, run right into the, the tire. That's crazy. That's a lot of them too. All right, guys, we've been here about an hour. We haven't had a, we had one little run on his rod over there. But other than that, nothing really. We had, we had, we had some bikers pass by us. We're fishing with tilapia and a uh, shiner. We're using the canaleros rig bottom of eight ounces this is our setup mahalo so first of all we're going to show you guys how to throw a casting in i'm going to sound like this so i'm blocking the wind on my back but yeah. casting it that's a casting net right the wind blowing what do people fish. use casting nets for to catch bait they use it to catch bait to catch big fish catch small fish and then you catch the big fish right you have a big one like this six foot you want to cut it in half cut it in half right down the middle about okay. three feet or so uh-huh and good thing about this is you stand like this because i'm standing over here he's gonna flick all that stuff and it's gonna land on me but i'm gonna stand this way clear it out Just clear it out twist, twist push perfect nice Watch me catch a bass. And then you let it sit two yeah, or three seconds. Uh, the way I, I used to do when I was a kid, man, you let it sit till the, till that line's not dropping in the water. That no, that means that you hit the bottom. Then you just bring it in, pull it tight, little tugs to make sure that that little claw suck closes. And we don't catch anything. We didn't catch anything, but now you guys know how to do it, right? Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, it, man. No problem. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna give it another 20, 30 minutes, man. So Bear grill style, you get four fingers, you put it like this. Oh, he wants to cast again. He's just showing off now. Yeah, the sun's right there, guys. Put four fingers like this, put it underneath neat the sun, and then the where the land is, where the bottom is, where the horizon is. It takes about an hour, so we got about an hour left of sunlight. Once it goes down, more or less, then you're gonna have another 20, 30 minutes of, of sunset light. Look, we got bait. What did we get? A little shiner? shiner. Hell this yeah, is, This dude. is uh, bass candy here. Bass candy here. Caught my biggest bass on one of these. Hell yeah, dude. It's wheat. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys. Appreciate it, man. We got about an hour left. We're gonna give it another 20, 30 minutes, man. I checked my rod and we got bait on there. That fresh bait that he's got on there, he's gonna bring in the line and, and set it up again. Always forget, to, I mean, always don't forget to pick up your trash, guys, and pick up your rod. Because when I was a kid, I spent all my money on a combo. Do you remember that one that I lost? I spent some hard earned money on a combo and I ended up leaving it on the ground. I had a rod on uh, laying down on a pier, man, and the fish ended up taking my rod into the water. So I always use a rod holder as well. When we were kids, there was always something that would happen, hence the name Stoic Outdoors. Chunk that sucker out there. Hell yeah, dude. Perfect, man. So we got three rods with fresh bait for the last 30 minutes of the day. And there we because I don't trust us to forget them. And then we're going to pick up trash also right now. And even though the trash isn't yours, man, pick it up. Don't be that guy. Or we're going to get a fourth quarter run right here, guys, because there's a little bit of a run right now. Good thing about that live liner, man, you can click the bottom of it and then it'll feed if there's a guard running. And then you just push it back. My drag's already set. Set the hook. Anything? No? Nothing. Nothing. So these are those uh, armored fish that I was talking about the other day. Those things are crazy man super invasive they actually eat a bunch of the smaller bass when they're trying to breed so be careful with those bad boys yeah see that well guys that is going to be the end of the video man we had a few runs but uh nothing nothing ended up taking the line man but that's just how it goes sometimes but it was still a good time to get out there with my brother jeremy and, and have a good time out out in uh, the 956 if you guys are watching from the uh their rgv comment below man i'm just curious of where you are watching from Thank you guys. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Remember, be resilient on the water and off. Peace.